Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look and doing an unboxing on the Daniel Defense DD5 V3. Now if you're not familiar with exactly what that is, this is a AR platform rifle that is chambered in 308. Um, the model that I have here being the V3 is the 16 inch variant, but they do also make it in a 18 and a 20 inch. They make it in a lot of different colors, and they also make it in several different calibers. Now this is the 308, but they do make it in 6.5 Creedmoor, 260, and I think a few others as well. Now before I ordered this rifle, I was clicking around on the internet, and I really couldn't find an unboxing video. Um, I just simply wanted to know what did or didn't come with the rifle, and since I couldn't find that, I figured I would make one now that I have the rifle in hand. Now, if you are interested in this rifle, stay tuned to my channel. I do plan on making several more videos on this particular one. Um, I'll probably do a first shots video because at this time, I have not fired this rifle, not even one single round. Um, after that, I may do an accuracy test video. And once I have it completely configured the way I want it, I'll give my final thoughts after I've put a decent round count through it. Let's take a look at the rifle. Obviously, it comes with the hard case that you see here. Inside we have the rifle itself and then we have a bag full of goodies Also wanted to mention if you enjoy this video or any of my other videos Please consider hitting that subscribe and possibly the like button um, According to my algorithm here on YouTube about 98% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed So if you would subscribe it would help me out. All right, so first let's take a look at the little bag um, first thing we have is a owner's manual, and this is a very nice and very detailed owner's manual. One of the best I've seen. We have a Daniel Defense sticker, which is basically the only reason I even buy guns. Um, we have an Allen wrench, which will be used to adjust the gas block, and we also have an additional firing pin spring. Um, the bolt carrier group, just like the whole rifle, is proprietary. So it does have a kind of a special spring, and it's nice that they give you an extra. We have one 20-round PMAG. Uh, let's see here. We have a card for the USCCA, and what is this? Uh, just a little bit of a how-to on adjusting the gas block, and it also has a little code that you can scan that will take you to a video that they have. Also, we have a little tag that was on the trigger guard. We have a chamber flag, and we have an additional butt pad. And that is everything that comes in the box. Uh, the box itself, all the goodies, and of course, the rifle. So I'm gonna give just a real quick overview. Uh, I'll go tip for butt, and I'm just kinda going to throw out a few specs and a little bit of basic information on this uh, rifle. I'm gonna shoot from the hip and see if I can do this from memory, so bear with me. Uh, first, starting up here, we have their muzzle device. Obviously, the rifle is threaded, 5 by 24. Um, I don't even know what they call this muzzle device. I'm planning on removing it anyway because I will put my own device, which I will be running a suppressor with most of the time on this rifle. When I do fire this rifle, because I haven't at this point, I'm going to leave this device on there at least for the first few rounds, so I'll see how that goes. Uh, coming on back, we obviously have that 16-inch barrel chambered in 308. It is a cold hammer forged barrel. Uh, Daniel Defense is really known for high quality barrels. This one should be no exception. It is a heavier profile barrel, uh, which is something I was looking for on this particular rifle, and it does have a one in 10 twist. Uh, on the barrel, we have the gas system. It is a mid-length gas system, and it has a two position adjustable gas block, which is what this Allen wrench here is for. Very, very simple, pretty much dummy proof. You have a suppressed and an unsuppressed setting. And that's it. Very simple gas block. Uh, we have a 15-inch M-lock rail. We do have M-lock on the 3, 6, and 9, as well as on the in-between positions. Now, like all Daniel Defense rifles, you have this proprietary mounting system for the barrel. Um, it does not require a barrel nut like a traditional AR. So the barrel, or the handguard, I should say, bolts directly to the receiver with these four bolts here. And it sandwiches the barrel in between. Uh, in theory, and I would say it's true at this point, based off of some other rifles I've had, it is supposed to be more rigid and lead to better accuracy. Coming on back, we do have the Daniel Defense charging handle. Now, this is an ambidextrous and an extended charging handle. I see no need to change that charging handle. It seems very well made. Next, we have the polymer dust cover that you see here. And then inside the receiver, we have the bolt carrier group. 
Now this is a very quality bolt carrier group, at least from what I've seen. Uh, taking this thing apart, the fit and finish on it looks unreal. Um, there's just a lot of very nice little details you can tell that went into this rifle overall, and that bolt carrier group is no exception. It has a DLC coating, which stands for Diming Light Coating. It definitely seems to be very, very slick. I believe this bolt carrier group will be very easy to clean and maintain, especially since I'll be shooting this gun a lot suppressed. Moving on to the lower, it is fully ambidextrous, so we do have a safety that is present on both sides. Um, now, I'm not a big fan of ambi safeties, so that is something I may change later on, but it does come with the rifle. We also have a magazine release that is present on both sides, as well as a bolt stop and bolt release. Um, so it's very easy to use. Having it on both sides, I can simply hold it down, and that allows me to lock the bolt to the rear without taking my hand off the fire control. Um, as well as I was doing a reload, I could insert the mag and then just simply press and I could send that bolt home. It's not stiff, it's not sluggish. Probably one of the best that I have ever seen as far as a truly ambi receiver. Next, we do have a slightly enlarged and flared magwell, so I definitely like that. We obviously have the uh, trademark Daniel Defense grip and also their stock. And we have the trigger. Now, in the past, these rifles used to come with a Geisley two-stage trigger. Um, but I believe a year or two ago, they took that away and they lowered the price on it a little bit. I'm glad they lowered the price, but this rifle definitely does deserve a better trigger than what it comes with. I think that is one of the weakest points of this rifle, especially when you consider the price this comes in at. Um, it has a very gritty and a just simply unimpressive mill spec trigger. So that is definitely something that I will be changing out. But for now, it's serviceable and uh, that's what the rifle ships with. Coming on back, uh, inside of the buffer tube, we do have a H buffer. Uh, we have our castle nut, which is properly staked, and we do have a QD end plate. That's something that I really like, something I put on all of my rifles because that is where I prefer to run my sling. And then we have the Daniel Defense stock, which pretty much everybody knows this stock at this point. Uh, it's not one of my favorites, but it definitely does the job. And it is nice that it comes with an additional butt pad, so you can kind of play with that and get it set up more to your liking. And that is pretty much the rifle. That is as she comes out of the box. Honestly, I would consider this a fairly no-frills rifle. Really, you're just paying for exceptionally high quality control. Uh, yes, you do get a few small features, and the attention to detail from one end to the other is simply through the roof. Um, I would argue that Daniel Defense and also BCM make some of the best no frills go to work ARs that are basically on the market um, and this rifle obviously is a no exception. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found the information helpful. If you would like to contact me directly there's several ways you can do that. Instagram and Facebook is going to be the best way. As I mentioned stay tuned I'm going to have several more videos coming on this rifle and if you'll follow me over on Instagram and Facebook You'll see little teasers and things like that as I'm working with this rifle. As always, thanks for watching. See y'all next time. Of course, I've got to keep my sticker out to let the world know that I overpaid for a rifle. Just kidding. That will go on the safe somewhere.